Hello, today we are going to discuss about monkeypox made simple. Is this topic necessary now? Yes, it's a burning topic. See, every day in the newspapers, you got the news like this. Center alerts, NCDC, ICMR, WHO calls emergency meeting. And uh, already 80 monkeypox cases in 11 countries. Everything is globalization. Matter of few hours, it may spread from corner to corner of the world. So we need to know something about the monkeypox. This presentation will throw light on it. So basically monkeypox is, see the image, it is a DNA virus which is enveloped and important it belongs to a family called pox viridae and the genus is called orthopox virus. I don't underestimate orthopox virus because one among the eradicated disease smallpox belongs to orthopox that's called variola virus and vaccinia we are using for preparation vaccine cowpox virus and monkeypox these all belongs to orthopox virus and it was first discovered on 1958 and the first human case reported on 1970 at Congo after that, we have a lot of reports, uh, almost uh, majority of the West uh, African countries. But after 40 years later, we are getting the new case now. 2017, we got some case. And the reservoir, still it's a question mark. It may be African rodent and maybe non-human pirates like monkeys and other animals and squirrels. These are all the uh, reservoirs. Next is how the disease spreads and it basically is a zoonotic disease animal to human after that human to human see the transmission it's mainly due to contact with infected animal or infected human or infected materials of the human or animal first it mainly through broken skin respiratory droplet or mucous membranes animal to human is mainly by bite or scratch of the animal or meat or direct contact with the lesions of the animals and human to human large droplets direct or indirect contact which include sexual now they say it's a high risk for gay people next is clinical manifestation some non-specific and specific symptoms are there any viral infection the incubation period is usually 7 to 14 days, but the range from 5 to 21 days reported. Mainly we have fever, headache and muscle aches. These are all common to all, even if you take dengue, chikungunya, any viral uh, disease, these are all the common features. Tiredness and lymphadenopathy. A lymphadenopathy is little unique. For this condition, I will tell you in the next slide. Apart from that, characteristic feature of this is rash. The rash appears two days after the fever and it becomes macule. It progress into papule, then vesicle. Vesicle become pustule and the final stage is scab. So macule to scab is a rash progress and usually the rash first appears on the face and moves to trunk and it's monomorphic. In case of chicken pox, we have pleomorphic rash and the infectivity period determined with the help of rash. In case of this kind of rash with lymphadenopathy, we can suspect monkey pox. In case of small pox, there won't be lymphadenopathy. That's the important difference. Smallpox, it's in way eradicated, but there, is, there won't be any lymphadenopathy. Here the lymphadenopathy will be present. The infectivity period, two days before appearance of the rash to till the time of scab formation, falling of scab, the person is considered to be infective. Next is laboratory diagnosis. First ideal specimen, you can get the fluid from vesicles, blood, sputum, scab, this all as per the Indian government guideline, recent guideline, sent to NIV Pune. Any suspected case of monkeypox need to be notified 
it need to be isolated contact tracing guideline is there icm or guideline is there you follow the guideline and always the diagnosis best is rt pcr electron microscope may say it's a pox virus brick shape complex symmetry pox virus but ultimate diagnosis rt pcr and further they will do genomic sequencing for further research purpose which belong to which clade and everything so routine diagnostic test rt pcr next is treatment this uh, picture will tell the truth as usual many other viral infections there is no proven safe or effective treatment for monkey pus virus infection till now next is prevention this is the guidelines number 1 avoid contact with infected animals or animals number 2 avoid contact with any infected materials of the animals or other human beings if your caregiver or the person is asymptomatic or the person is symptomatic so you should not have contact with any of the infected materials number 3 isolation of the infected patient is needed it's a 2 to 4 weeks disease the isolation also needed almost 2 to 4 weeks and always practice good hygiene hand washing and in case of laboratory or healthcare worker wear appropriate ppe these are all the routine prevention measures apart from that is there any vaccine available yes fda approved vaccine for monkeypox that's called genos vaccine it's a live attenuated vaccine it was approved by fda to prevention of monkeypox and our ncdc and icmr issued the guidelines for contact tracing case finding and how to send the specimen everything it's available in the website you follow that and you will prevent monkeypox because always prevention is better than cure and prevention is better hope you all enjoyed this small presentation thank you stay tuned for more updates